Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered what is actually the difference between an aqua brush or water brush and a regular watercolor brush? Should you use both or just stick to one? In this video, I'll talk about the differences, the similarities and the pros and cons so you know exactly what to use. A water brush consists of the head that is made out of synthetic bristles, a plastic handle with a water tank inside that you can use to squeeze out water. You can also find water brushes in different sizes and shapes. To be able to use a water brush, you need to unscrew the handle and then fill it up with water by pouring it from a jar, tap or by using a pipette. Once you've filled up the tank with water, you need to screw back the handle firmly. To release the water, you simply need to press the tank and the water is released through the brush head. And you can use this ability to not only activate your watercolors in your watercolor palette and to blend out the paint, but also to clean your brush. Here you simply squeeze out some water to clean the bristles and then you can use a tissue paper to soak up the excess water and paint if needed. Now with a water brush you need to be careful to not contaminate the water. This can happen when the brush sucks in the paint inside the tank when you push and release it. So you'll need to push on the handle to release the water and clean the bristles with a tissue paper before starting painting. Also, when you paint with a water brush, it can be more challenging to control the water flow. So as a result, you can create patchy washes of paint or the brush can even leak depending on the quality. And since the synthetic bristles run out of water a lot quicker than some higher quality regular brushes, you'll need to constantly press the water tank, which might result in streaky results again. I also find that when you use a water brush like a regular brush, it can be quite uncomfortable to hold the brush because the water tank is far away. I feel like this works better for whenever you just want to paint a small area and you don't necessarily need a lot of water in one go. On the other hand, water brushes are super compact and convenient for anyone who travels and wants to paint on the go. You don't need additional water and you can easily clean the bristles by squeezing out the water. But water brushes are not only great for traveling and sketching on the go, but you can also use them for other cool techniques where you don't necessarily need a ton of water. For example, you can combine watercolor pencils or watercolor brush pens with your water brush to create a watercolor effect. Or you can use them as a hand lettering tool. You can add some liquid watercolors inside the tank and experiment with that as well. So you could use three different brushes and fill them up with primary colors of your choice and then paint and mix on the go as well. So you don't have to carry around all sorts of paints. And again, this takes some practice and getting used to how the brush behaves because sometimes the quality might not be as great and the brush will leak and you won't be able to paint smoothly. So this is a learning curve for sure. A regular watercolor brush consists of the brush head that can be made of either natural or synthetic hair, a metal ferrule and a wood handle. You can also find regular watercolor brushes in different sizes and shapes. With regular watercolor brushes, you'll need to use an additional water container and bring it with you when you travel. But even though regular brushes don't have a water tank that is super handy for when you travel, you can still buy travel brushes that are smaller and then just use a little water container. Compared to water brushes, you can buy regular watercolor brushes in different qualities and sizes so you have a lot more options and can choose a brush according to what you need and want. And depending on the quality and size of the brush you choose, it's not only a lot easier to paint larger paintings and control the water flow, but also to make sure that your washes of paint are evenly applied if this is what you're going for. Even though you have to use an additional water container, it's still easier to control the amount of water on your brush 
and to clean it more thoroughly by rinsing the bristles in clean water. So all in all, it depends on what you want to do on your watercolor journey. If you want to paint mostly at home and be in control of the quality, water flow and want to learn how to paint with watercolors with more ease, then a regular watercolor brush would be the right choice for you because even if you want to paint on the go, you can still find travel sized good quality brushes offered by many good brands as well. But if you just want to quickly paint on the go or want to just loosely paint small sketches or paintings or add a few watercolor effects here and there where you don't necessarily need the best brushes, you just need something that is convenient, a water brush could be the right choice for you. This being said, you can still use both options depending on what you're in the mood to paint. If you need more info about what supplies you need to start your watercolor journey, make sure to download my free guide to watercolor supplies. You can find a link in the description box down below. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!